it takes just about five minutes or so, just this one. So as I just told you, you have you, you had the total impairment loss of 4,800, but you have already impaired by 1,000 and also 200. So the impairment loss on, to be allocated on a pro rata basis will be 2,800. How do you obtain that figure? You take your total impairment minus the impairment so far allocated, which is 1,800 and 200 here. So after remaining with that figure, all you have to do is just to distribute it to these two assets factory as well as planned according to uh to their to their what on, on a pro rata basis so it's just simple for a factory impairment loss is how much for a factory how to obtain the impairment loss you just take your impairment loss here which is 2800 you divide by the total value of assets total value of the carrying amount what what was the carrying amount in total what was the total carrying amount here the total carrying amount was uh 4,000 plus 300, which is 7,000. So after dividing by 7,000, which is the total value, you multiply by the carrying amount of the factor, which is 4,000 actually. So you multiply by 4,000 and you have your 1,600 is the impairment loss. And also you repeat the same for plant. So for plant, you do the same. You take 2,800 over 7,000, which is the total. Remember 2,000, the numerator here is the impairment and the denominator is the carrying amount, total carrying amount. And you multiply with the carrying amount of the plant concerned and reaching, uh, arriving at this figure here, 1,200, which is here. Sorry, this is 1,200. I just wrote it as this one, but actually it's 1,200, right? This figure, this is not a zero, it's not a zero. Yeah, this was their closing bracket, so 1,200. So after here, you'll have these figures and actually uh, you'll know the impairment loss of each of the assets. So good will be impaired by to totally 1,800, patent by 200, factory by 1,600, receive plant by 1,200 and receivables by nothing. So it's just like that. This is how we deal with the uh, actual computation of impairment losses of CGU of cash generating units. I think this part wasn't difficult for you, this part of the pro rata basis. Actually, when coming to this part of pro rata basis, you, you had remained with impairment loss of 200, 2,800. And this corresponded to the total carrying amount of 7,000, right? Now you could ask yourself, what impairment loss just like this would correspond, let's say, if you need the impairment loss of the factor, you, you go to the carrying amount of factor that from this 7,000, which was uh, 4,000, you just ask yourself. And then when you do cost multiplication, it will be 2,800 times 4,000 over 7,000, this one. 2,800 times 4,000 over 7,000, just like that. So I hope everything was clear. And uh, actually, I'm so glad uh, that we have been together. Now, uh, actually our session, our session is over.